right, so in the last lecture, we talked about how we were indeed sorting these or ordering them by specific parameters. But I asked the question, how do I know, since these are all A's, that I'm actually sorting the data with this. So let's go ahead and create a new sheet here that we're going to title A, B on a roll. I had this at my school when I was in high school many, many years ago. Okay. And so for this, I'm going to do another query. So I'm going to come over here to my honor roll one. I'm going to pull this query because I'm going to pull data from the same place, but I'm going to modify the query a bit. All right, so we're going to take this query. We're going to go over here to AB honor roll, and I'm going to drop the query here into the formula bar. I'm going to leave my sources the same. I'm going to leave select column one, column two. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and first start by deleting the order by and so now if I hit enter here, I'm right back to that original query with the A students. But I don't want to stop there. Instead, I'm going to come to the end here of A and the single quote. And after that, I'm going to put space and I'm going to use another key term in queries. And that is the OR term. And after I type OR, I'm going to type column or COL2 equals, and then in single quotes, I'm going to put B. Because what this is now saying is, hey, look in these two sources of data, select the column one and column two values where the value in column two equals an A or the volume of the value in column two equals a B. So what this should be doing is identifying any of our A students and any of our B students and returning them here. And there we go, it did that, awesome. Okay, so now what I wanna do for the final piece here is just as I did before, I want to add that order by, and I wanna show you that that order by is not only going to sort column one, but the data values that correspond to each student. So Melissa, Michael, Tim, and Caitlin who all have B's, they should wind up with B's next to their names after we do this order by. So order by column one, and we're gonna do ascending, ASC. And notice, Caitlin, Melissa, Michael, and Tim, who had B's, still have B's next to their name. So the order by not only sorts by the column that we specify, but it legitimately keeps all of the return to query data associated with the appropriate values across cells. What I mean by that is Alan was associated with the grade of an A, and when I sort, no matter how I sort or order by this query, Alan should always be associated with that A. All right, so what we've done in this brief series on queries is we've covered a lot of ground. We looked at how to do a query on a single sheet, how to pull in multiple sheets, how to use our select to pull specific pieces of data out of our target data sources, how to use where to designate conditions by which we should return specific pieces of data, and how to use order by to order the data that we've returned. That's going to do it for this series on queries, but there will be another series coming soon that's going to go into some of the more advanced pieces. In the meantime, what I invite you to do is if you found this series of videos useful, like and subscribe, but more, I would also like to know from people in the scientific community, people in the educational community, are there specific types of query examples that you would like me to do in tutorial videos? And if there are, shoot me a message in the comments. We can connect, you can get me some of your data, and I can attempt to build a tutorial specifically for that type of data, which might not only benefit you, but other members in your field. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you found this useful.